Oh, <laughs> don't we look vicious? Question, sir? Why did Nagisa put the stun gun away? <laughs> so you're opting for the knife. Good on you. I knew you'd see the light. Want to know a little secret? I didn't blow up every vial of the antidote. Now either you come at me and your pals keep a respectful distance, or what's left of their <gasps> chances of survival goes bye-bye. Everyone infected will die! Hear that, Kurosuma? It's just me and the boy! <clears throat> this stuff takes a lot to cook up under ideal conditions! Now sure there's not enough for everyone, but saving some's better than saving none! <gasps> Mr. Kurosuma, I hate to ask this of you, but... If at any moment you believe Nagisa's life to be in jeopardy, please do not hesitate to shoot Takaoka. He usually has a sixth sense about where things are headed. So for him to ask me that, we're in trouble. Deep trouble. Of course we are. Even I can see the writing on the wall. We got the better of three professional freelance assassins on our own terms. But this is different. Here, we're playing by his rules. Nagisa has absolutely no idea the world of hurt he's in for. <coughs> ha! That all you've got? Where's that homicidal rage now you're on your ass, you little snot rag? Takaoka is a man possessed. He's in battle mode. Years of elite military training cut through the insanity. No attack is going to slip through his defenses. <coughs> His physique, his skills, his experience. <laughs> this isn't like scoring high on the finals. This is life or death. So not a fair match. Yeah, no kidding, right? He doesn't have a prayer. Oh, hey now, don't peter out. We're just getting started. That's right. We haven't incorporated this old girl into the mix. This knife comes to me in my dreams every night. Hand in hand with that smile. The precise moment my peace of mind flew off the rails. Well, tonight I won't give that smug little pipsqueak the satisfaction. I'll split you from groin to grin and savor the screams. I'll sever your hands and feet and mount them above my mantle like trophies. Shoot him, Mr. K! Please, Nagisa will die! That man means every word of what he says! Stop! Let Nagisa handle it. Dude, do you see the shape he's in? At least if I was in there, Takaoka wouldn't have it so easy. You think so? Shows what you know. If you didn't ditch training so much, you'd have a clue. This fight ain't over yet, pal. Just watch. He's about to pull out the big guns. This technique, it never fails? Don't be fooled. It only looks easy. Therein lies the beauty. I've used it many a time in field. Nothing compares for getting out of pinch. The technique only works under certain conditions, however. Three criteria must be met. First, have at least two weapons ready hand. Second, you must be pitted against an expert. Third, and most important, your opponent must already know what it means to face death. Excellent. We're three for three. What the? Congratulations, Mr. Takaoka. You get to be my beta test. What is he doing? You must understand the nature of this move. It's something of a paradox, you see. Conditions aren't often favorable. But while I call it an insta-kill technique, in all honesty, that is a misnomer. Employing it doesn't mean your opponent will die instantly. Particularly when their defenses are impregnable. That said, if you find yourself painted into a corner, and at some point you will, do this correctly, and it sets the stage for an instant kill. That sounds pretty useful. How's it work? From a standstill position, move quickly. As far as you can, as loudly as you can. <laughs> Come on! Do it! Careful. Time it just after dropping the knife. The closer I get, the more focused he'll be on the blade. Drop my weapon, and his attention follows him. Both caught in midair for just a fraction of a second. What the hell? 
was that? There it is. An assassin slips through the cracks. And in that tiny moment, out comes the crucial second blade. No! This isn't happening! The run got me again! Way to go, that's how it's done. One good jolt and he'll be out like a light bulb. Taze the psychotic rat bastard. <laughs> this man taught me bloodlust. Taught me that sometimes anger is good, sometimes not. He taught me the importance of having friends to pull you out of your own head. I know what it's like to be hit, to be in a real fight, all because of this man. He's done some awful things, there's no denying that. But in a weird way, he does deserve my respect. He's a teacher. Please, no. I've learned something about myself in all this. Whatever you're about to do, don't do it with that look on your face! Oh, God! I'll be hunted by that smile to the day they put me in the ground! Mr. Takaoka, thank you for everything. 